Hi there. Welcome to Wisdom Circle Wednesdays for February 21st of 2024. So today's topic is, our topics is choice and focus. But first, let's start by going into the heart space and fully stepping into this field this morning. All right, so putting your attention to the physical heart, finding your light. Connecting that with earth and breathing in that light of the earth up through the feet into the heart. Connecting with you as creator God, as soul, breathing in that light of you into the heart. In the third breath, you become the conduit, the bridge between heaven and earth, breathing in that light of you, that light of the earth, bringing them both together within you and sending them straight back out. So you are grounded, connected, and in the heart space. All right, so... As we discussed on our very first uh, Wisdom Circle Wednesdays, this is a safe, sacred space to step into. And so when you come here, just feel into that space. There are others who are standing in their light. And again, when we all stand in our light next to each other, it brings those remembrances. And each of us that step into this circle with our wisdom, which is the wisdom is very unique to every person because wisdom is, is the culmination of the lifetimes of experience and the soul. And so when you step into the circle, you bring your own flavor of light. And as we all share we have the remembrances and it just lifts us each differently. So thank you for all being here and to really feeling into this space. All right. So a couple of things that I want to talk about today. Um, you know, choice is a huge one and we've spoken a lot about choice doing all of the, the wisdom stuff that we did for about a year and a half here. Um, because choice is something that we have a new ability to choose, to consciously choose things in our creation. Before we didn't have the awareness that there was things outside of this box of limited potentials of choice. And our choices always have come from reactions, um, you know, very limited um, perspectives. And as we step into our own light, grounded, connected, and we allow more of our light to come in, that brings more awareness because that's what consciousness is, is simply awareness. And the more awareness that we can bring within ourselves the more choices, the more potentials that we have in our creation. Well, it's not that there's more. They've always been there, but we just have not perceived them. And so with choice, what we're speaking of with choice is the choosing to release the things that no longer serve, those things that do not bring you joy or that you feel are no longer serving you. That is the choice that we've been discussing for about the past three years almost. And so that's really what I want to bring the t to the table today is the whole concept of choice. That if there is something that is in your world and in your life, a reoccurring thought pattern, the way you react to certain situations, certain situations themselves, um, there are all kinds of things that are just running in our creation and we can make a clear conscious choice to be complete to set some of these things down to no longer participate in these experiences so 
the clear conscious choice is our first tool that we can use to uncreate creation, which no longer serves us to no longer participate in certain things that do not bring us joy or do not no longer serve us. So we just go into the heart and it's kind of like what we've done with the wisdom wand and all the teachings and classes and workshops around the wisdom wand and holding the wisdom wand is really a fantastic way to step into that space. It's just a helper, um, a space holder. Truly you don't need any of the tools because you can hold this space. Now that's another thing about the wisdom circle is that it too is helping you hold space when you step in here. So no matter if you're using the tools yourself, or you are stepping into this space, the work is the same. It's going into the heart space. It is allowing in your light. How do you allow in your light? Let's do this right now. Bringing in your light, your soul, your master self, your higher self, whatever you see and say any of these parts of you as. It's not a trying or a doing, it's a being soft and allowing. So let's step into that space of allowing our light to come in. So here we go, closing your eyes again, being in the heart, being soft, and choosing to allow your light in. in the deep breaths. Just allowing your light in as you stand within this space, this safe, sacred space. And again, stay out of the mind, stay in the heart, stay in the feeling. Now for me, when I first start to allow in my light, it's, uh, I get goosebumps. I feel that electric, that light flowing through the body. <laughs> All right. So when you are doing any of the work that we do, especially on making a clear conscious choice, we first invite in our light. We work with our soul. So it's the human who makes that clear conscious choice, but it is the soul that follows through with that creation. So again, the clear conscious choice would be something, um, again, that you feel no longer serves you, does not bring you joy. You go into the heart space. You allow in your light. And you take this thing, whatever it is, and you just choose, say, okay, I no longer choose to participate in this game with a family or a relation or a friend. Or I choose to no longer have this reoccurring experience that I let it go to wisdom. And that's truly what you're doing with all of these experiences is you are handing them to soul. You are letting them go to wisdom. And just that deep breath in as you allow these things to go to soul. And that's beautiful. I am seeing and feeling so much in this field as you are all doing that work of allowing, of allowing those things to go back to soul, to come into wisdom. And the beautiful thing is, is that when you release those things to soul, they come into wisdom. You now have more awareness, consciousness, light 
to stand more fully within yourself. So the more you release, the more hmm, fuller you truly become. And again, that is what this new light body is that's been coming in since March, is it is the culmination of the wisdom of lifetimes. And as you begin to release more of those things, even from this lifetime, every time you do, you amass more wisdom, consciousness, and light. And, you know, some of us who have done those deep, deep, dark night of the soul experiences, the, the darker the experience that you have, the more light and wisdom you elicit from that experience, from that lifetime, from that trauma. Um, so it's just really a, a beautiful thing to do this work. Okay. So if you guys have any questions, if you're live here and have any questions along the way, please do drop questions on the questions tab. Um, but choice, choice again is something that we've been talking about for quite some time on making clear conscious choices and how to make a clear conscious choice again is going into the heart inviting in your soul and then just making that choice. Now we're going to also step into another concept, which um, is focus. Now let's consider that everything is truly your energy. It is malleable. And then you have, so you have your energy. It is there to serve you. Your energy is always serving you in the in the highest and best for you even if it seems like it's really hmm, traumatizing or terrible or whatever it is all your energy and it is there serving you and so this is where we step in and we can have the human judgments and be like well you know i don't want to participate in that anymore so i'm going to go to the heart and i'm going to make a clear conscious choice to no longer participate in that experience um, but again, where everything is your energy, focus is kind of an, focus is quite the concept. So basically when you focus, you are focusing your awareness, your consciousness onto your energy in a more focused way and you bring things more solid. So we're going to use the, the, the example of an ache or a pain, let's say, um, a tore rib muscle. And the more you focus on it, the more you hold it into creation. And if you are in fear or in a state of like, well, let's say if you're in a state of fear and the more you focus on it, you are exasperating that even more by bringing those emotional parts of your focus. And so let's consider the, the example of abundance. And if your focus is in a way that is based in fear and in lack, oh, you know, your focus on paying your mortgage, let's say, and you're focused on it and you're focused on it with a lot of fear, that is going to solidify more within that creation. Um, because when you focus on something and you, with your focus, you have it tainted. The tainted part would be the fears, the lacks, the, uh, the self-worth issues, whatever it is that you're focusing on this lack. Um, it's about broadening the focus. It's about letting it loose. It is also truly about being in the heart and being with your light when you focus on something. So if your focus is on a problem and you are coming from your limited box of fears, necessity, survival, that is what I'm saying is that in your focus is in this limited box. That is what creation is going to give you more of. So when you can step out of that box and 
when you focus from a different space, that space of higher potentials outside of the box, when you can focus on it from there with your light, with your gratitude, with the higher potentials, then it shifts and changes that creation. And I know this is probably all very logical. You're like, well, yeah, no kidding. But do we put it into practice? So again, when you come upon anything in the world, just remember to step out of this limited box. Go into the heart space, breathe in your light, step into that field of higher potentials with your light. And again, the focus then bring in your radical acceptance, bring in your light, bring in your gratitude when you look at something. And then when you look, it will shift in a new way. And also this concept of focus. Um, we've talked about before when we do healing work, when, when we basically, let's say you have an issue with your shoulder and you've, and you bring your light in and you bring your light into it and you've done all the releasing of energies, um, forgiveness of self, everything else that you would do when you are releasing something that is in the physical, um, Sorry, I forgot where I was going this morning. Um, so when you're doing that, when you are doing that release work, basically when you look into an ache or a pain, you allow it to be as it is. That's another part of, I guess you could even say as part of the focus, is, is that when you are looking at one little issue, and you've stepped into your heart, you've, 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 you've done your forgiveness to self work, forgiveness to others work. You are bringing in gratitude into that issue. You are widening your focus. Now, the more you widen that focus and you allow that issue to be, you have the gratitude for it. It allows in other creation to come in and it allows what you've been focused on. Let's say it's, we also call this like gravity. When you have things in your field in the more focus, the more awareness you put onto those things, the closer they come into your field, into your creation. And so the more intense focus we put on something, the more we bring it in. And as we broaden that focus and see, these are usually things that are, you could consider detrimental, non-beneficial, those types of things that we like to really focus on. Because even if we're focusing on achieving a goal or a dream, if we still are bringing through our doubts, our self-worth and everything else in that head-based focus, again, that amplifies into that creation. So um, the clarity today may not be the best here with these concepts. So please do ask some questions if you feel I've been, um, yeah, I've just been passing through a lot of my own stuff here for the moment. Um, let's see, here's a question. Can we be blocked permanent from our soul or is it just a conscious choice? So the beautiful thing is, is that the soul is always there. All of your creation is a part of your light, your energy, your soul. So when we step into being a human, when we come here, part of this whole thing that we do is the forgetting, the disconnecting of the knowing of ourself, but our self, our light, our soul, our consciousness is always, always here. And it makes up all of creation. But yes, we did agree to have a disconnect, a, an unremembrance of our soul and who we are to step into this world. 
when we came here to earth. And so this reconnection, and then sometimes other things help, or other things can hinder this, such as the lifetimes that we have a vow of, of, you know, there's all kinds of vows that we can create. Um, I know I had many lifetimes that I was just like at war with God, with creation, you know, gave God the big middle finger in many lifetimes and said, no, you don't exist and, and things like that. Um, so basically with this question about, um, about soul is one, you can make that clear conscious choice that I allow in my soul, that I allow in my light, and that I release all of the old statements, the programs, the oaths, vows, promises that kept me separate from my soul. And then just start that conversation. Now your soul will not talk back to you in words, sentences. Your soul will speak to you through the heart, through a knowing. It does not come through the mind in words. So to speak to your soul. And it can be a one-sided conversation with you to soul. And that is fine. Um, oh, which takes us to the next question. I want to learn how to talk to the soul. What techniques? Being in the heart space is the number one prerequisite. Because when we're in our head, we are influenced by all the other stuff, whether it is mass consciousness, soul aspects, other lifetimes that is, the ego, the traumas. All of those things can affect our, um, our perspective, it keeps us in, in a box. When we step into the heart space, that is where this stuff does not influence and where we can have that direct connection with soul and just start talking with your soul. Start telling your soul, your stories, your, your desires, your issues, your everything. Just start talking to soul. And again, hmm, feel for the reply. Usually when you make a statement or request to the soul, just go into the heart space and wait. Allow that to come in synchronicities and in knowingnesses. That is how your soul responds. Hey, Yentl. What about if you need to focus on something that is a part of us? So it requires light to bring it into awareness and focus on it so it can shift. For example, a thyroid issue I have been having to focus on it, seeing it improving and healing is the key then. So there, when we use focus for manifestation, we're usually talking about from the mind and from the head and we focus and we try to put in details and all of those things and imagine it looking bright and beautiful and new, which is a great, you know, visualizing something as new and perfect and beautiful is great, but don't hold that as your only thing. Um, basically when we go in and do the work, like with the thyroid, you, what we have found over the past few years is, is that when we have an issue and we keep going back and we keep battling it, it keeps it into place. And so the whole concept of, of the focus is that you do see it and you bring your light to it. And then you kind of step back and you allow your focus to broaden to widen. Basically our focus has been what that reality currently is. And as we bring that focus out, all of this extra is those higher potentials. So instead of being put right there, this is the reality. This is, um, you know, this is my thyroid and this is what I'm focusing on. You do your work of bringing your light into it. 
and asking the soul to take what no longer serves you and you making the clear conscious treatment to you as the human saying, okay, you know what? I, I am complete with this. I allow this to come into wisdom because I do not have to complete this experience. I can give this to soul for it to come into completion. And so you hand it to soul and then you broaden your vision on it. You brought in your focus instead of keep hammering it here, brought in the focus. It's kind of like letting it go in a way. And that's kind of how my sisters explained it is you do the work and you let it go instead of keeping focusing on there, because then you bring it back into focus instead of allowing it to expand out into all the other. Um, and again, this is, <clears throat> this is a technique that we've been working with here for a while. And, um, and we've had phenomenal results and not to say that they're, you know, this is definitely just one technique, but we've also seen where we've been using other techniques that in this new paradigm of consciousness, these old techniques really are not working. They're not really the end all. Um, and again, I still feel doing this consciousness work with soul is in the work that we're doing right here and now is stepping us into becoming conscious creators of manifesting the things that our hearts really desire. But that first we are still learning to temper what our desires are because our desires have usually been tainted by fear, necessity, survival, those types of things. And so we're stepping into a new way of creating and that creating is not from the mind for sure. It is creating with our consciousness and our energy. Um, is it possible to elevate a soul on earth? So truly the human is the experiential part of the soul. And as the lifetimes, as the experience comes back to soul, the soul is elevating. We are creating new light that has never been in creation before. That new light comes from the soul focusing its light onto its energy, creating an experience or a lifetime. That experience or lifetime comes back as wisdom. Then we have that original light plus all of the other wisdom light that came with that original light through the experience that light grows. And yes, right now is the time that we are bringing that experience home to soul. And yes, we are um, elevating a soul on earth. And that truly is the purpose of the earth and the human experience is to elevate the soul, the consciousness, the understanding, the experience, the wisdom the wisdom light consciousness. So yes, we very much are um, shining brighter as a soul than we ever have before. And it is an amazing, beautiful thing. Um, anyway, yeah, my, I've been kind of losing my voice here and, and I really appreciate doing the wisdom circle today because um, every time stepping into this field with you guys is, it's amazing. Um, please do step into this field anytime you feel. And um, we'll definitely keep doing um, more and more every week. And please do bring your questions um, here as we come next week. And, um, and, any things that you do want to work on, 
um, we might be able to do some some examples by all working together on on different things. So anyway, thank you all for being here and I look forward to making these sessions a lot more valuable, but I still feel like there is some wonderful value in what we've done here just today. But anyway, have a great week and we'll see you here in a couple of weeks. All right. Take care.